Yesterday, we told you how Reebok is building a new high-tech manufacturing lab right here in Rhode Island. And today, we talked to the man in charge of the work that will be done here. And it's not just innovative for shoemaking, but for Rhode Islanders as well. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has more details, new at 6. A new practice promises a new foothold for Reebok here in the U.S. Currently, 100% of its products are made in Asian countries, but that's about to change in Rhode Island. Currently under construction, about to become a small batch factory with a big goal. A revolutionary, groundbreaking technology in sneaker manufacturing. It's Reebok's first ever liquid manufacturing lab, and it's coming here to the AF Group's facility in Burrowville. Our idea was basically to get a, an industrial robot and have it act like a 3D printer. The $400,000 robot will use 3D technology to draw shoe molds. They're expensive and they take a long time to make. The machine will eliminate that process. Its location in Rhode Island will shorten the 18-month period between product inception and consumer appreciation. The thought would be to regionalize production where production take place close to where the product is being sold. Keith Lonigan and his Lincoln-based company have worked with Reebok for the past four years. He says the product will not only put a stamp on the shoemaking industry, but on local jobs, creating three to five in the next year. But then what we'd be hoping is once the manufacturing process kicks in, it'll be many more jobs than that. Now, as far as the timeline is concerned, construction is set to wrap up in just a few weeks. The equipment should be here by mid-December, and manufacturing should start by early 2017. In the control room, Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.